So early access for Modern Warfare 3's campaign is this week, and today we're running down everything you need to know gearing up for that so that you can jump in and experience the Modern Warfare 3 campaign for yourself if you're looking to do so. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below, any bold predictions for the campaign, any hopes, whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoy the video, you'll find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 3. We set a lofty goal of 550,000 subscribers by launch, so if you'd like to join us while staying up to date with the best coverage, tips, guides, and all for Modern Warfare 3, I would love to have you. Finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, where code ESPRESSO can get you 10% off your entire order, but more on that a little later. For now, let's jump into everything that you need to know about Modern Warfare 3's early access period. Firstly, the biggest part, how can you play the game early? How do you get early access for Modern Warfare 3? So for those that want to play the campaign early, this is a benefit afforded to anyone who's already pre-purchased the game digitally. Unfortunately, if you pre-order the game in any physical version, this isn't available and you have to pick it up via digital storefront like Bnet, Steam, the Xbox and PlayStation stores, which is where the pre-purchase comes into play. That's already a version that's bought, whereas pre-orders where you can go to like GameStop or your local retailers and put $5 down or Amazon, it doesn't charge you until the date of release. That's their way of guaranteeing that you purchase the game, whereas the beta, you could always cancel afterwards. So unfortunately, it's not for everyone, but it is following the precedent set last year. And honestly, I kind of wager this is what we see going forward for the next, at least foreseeable, next few years in the franchise. I wouldn't expect this as a sort of bonus to go away anytime soon. But anyways, that is how you gain access to it. But if you did that already, when can you start preloading it? Because this is going to be a big download. It's not something that if you want to jump in immediately, you want to spend your time sitting around and waiting for it to download. Well, officially, campaign early access preloads start tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time for PlayStation and Xbox platforms, as well as Bnet and Steam for PC. So that's 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. GMT, 6 p.m. CEST, and so on. But strangely, Bnet may have actually goofed yesterday as you were able to preload it on PC, at least again on Bnet. Not sure about Steam or anything, but I'm also not sure if that's since been removed to the option to do that because at least for myself and probably a good bit of others, the game's already preloaded and ready to be played at this point on my system. So you might still be able to on Bnet, but if you can't, it's going to be something that picks up again at 10 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. A final note, if you have download limits on, check those on, say, Bnet or Steam. My Bnet reset itself somewhere along the line in the past year or so, where I was like, well, why am I only getting one megabit per second down? And then I double checked to find that I had a cap on it at one megabit per second. I removed that and immediately jumped to at minimum 100 megabits per second for the rest of the download. Makes life way easier to not have that cap on, so check that if your download's going really slow. Now, as for when the actual early access period starts, well, campaign early access and when you can jump in is a bit different from the launch of the full game, where instead of it rolling out at midnight local time, with campaign early access, there's one universal launch time for Modern Warfare 3. Starting on November 2nd, this Thursday, you'll be able to play at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is also, again, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. in the UK or for GMT, and 6 p.m. CEST, but then outwards to the furthest time zones of, say, 2 a.m. JST and 4 a.m. AEDT on November 3rd. So at that point, it is something that is playable for all players. The actual global launch of Modern Warfare 3 rolls out at midnight, November 10th, wherever you are in the world. So it's a progressive rollout, whereas this, it's all one static time that it drops. From there, you'll be able to play the game's campaign to your heart's content. If you want to beat it all in one setting, you absolutely can. If you want to space it out and play a few missions a day, complete it just in time for launch, you can. If you want to play it all last second and go directly into Modern Warfare 3's full launch with MP and zombies to follow, you can. If you want to play a single mission or none at all, you can do that as well. But come 10 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday, you'll be able to play the campaign early for the next week or so leading up to the launch, and then the entire game's out. Now, one of the nice pieces about having campaign early access here is that you actually already get to start earning things towards your full game progress. Now, that doesn't go for multiplayer level or anything, but there are, just like last year, campaign rewards for completing certain missions. Detailed on a blog post earlier today, campaign rewards will be a thing here again, as with last year, seemingly for almost every mission completion. There there is a lower number of rewards than there are total missions detailed, so it doesn't seem like every single mission may have one. But according to the blog, we'll end up seeing the rewards of the Breather Calling Card, a tandem reward of 30 minute double weapon XP and double player XP, the Corso Operator, the Gilly Guy Calling Card, another
another tandem 30 minute XP token and 30 minute weapon XP token. The Pathfinder Operator, Toxic Drip Calling Card, one hour double XP token and double weapon XP token in tandem. The Dock Operator, the Skull Rhapsody Calling Card, and another one hour double player XP token, one hour double weapon XP token. The Jabber Operator, though if you reach level 30 in the beta, you should also have the Crash Dummy skin for this, which means it'll be unlocked there even if you don't unlock him through the campaign, or so it seems. And then a campaign completion emblem as well as weapon blueprint. So in terms of mission quantity, again, it is just one shy of Modern Warfare 2's 16. There are 15 missions detailed here with not as many rewards for every single mission. But if we're being realistic in terms of campaign to campaign quantity, the first mission strike in Modern Warfare 2 is a three minute mission where most of it is walking to a lookout and guiding a missile. So to me, it's not much a genuine mission as it is sort of like a prologue or an intro. So if you consider that, it's roughly the same length in regards to say Modern Warfare 2 in quantity, but in terms of overall playtime may take a bit more time depending on how you take the campaign open combat missions, which let's get into that. The campaign details will see the campaign overall as a mixture of traditional missions like A to B linear missions, but also open combat missions where Modern Warfare 3 shakes it up a little bit where you will, of course, still have those everything laid out for you in a defined path, but also in a new sense of the combat missions acting almost like spec ops, but in a campaign format where you, the player, have the agency to deviate from that air quote normal way to do a mission. And it's kind of a mini open world sandbox to completing objectives and finishing a mission. There will be checkpoints for if you do you end up dying as normal you'll just reset but there is no right or wrong way to go about these open combat missions so long as you complete the objectives and complete the mission overall so in theory and on paper this is something that sounds pretty cool in terms of how it'll be for execution we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out but just know that you're going to have again a bit more agency a bit more player choice come some of these missions in the campaign now let's get beyond the campaign itself let's talk about some of the content you can expect to see here on the channel for sort of reference on where we'll be the next couple of days here i'll be putting some content here up on the channel in terms of the campaign we'll be streaming it here on youtube as of thursday 10 a.m pacific time as soon as it goes live before switching back over to twitch streams for the grind and launch of modern warfare 3 i've been kind of doing like the big events here on the channel the last two years and i kind of like it keeping everything focused on the main channel and main platform where the most people are but if you want to see the extracurricular stuff as we're just chilling and hanging out that's on a different platform and again something that isn't necessarily as apparent there if that makes sense and also we'll be putting up some playthroughs on the second channel if you miss it you want to check it out for yourself or whatever the case we'll see how that all goes we'll probably have some easter egg videos as well and of course we're also going to see a lot of stuff come out of this because beyond content on the channel beyond the campaign itself there are a few things that you should expect leading into the full launch of here the biggest one and it's already started unfortunately is some data mines and leaks out of this because pc went live early in that preload some people have already started to data mine and leak campaign spoilers so a little bit of a sort of heads up here if you don't want to see anything spoiled for the campaign now might be a decent time to log off social media for a while or at least mute some words like probably Makarov price 141 stuff like that that that's not any sort of spoiler that I'm hinting towards or anything but that's kind of like what I would mute if I was in the position to not wanting to see anything in regards to spoilers just because of course that's the big stuff but again if you guys don't want to see that we're not going to be discussing any leaks for campaign and storyline and anything like that but others not everybody's going to do that so you may still see spoilers on Twitter YouTube Reddit so just be conscious of that kind of stuff. But also outside of that, because it's essentially an extension of the full game here, you will start to see other leaks in regards to probably more multiplayer content, maybe more camos and all things that go along with that, how the progression system will work. A lot of stuff is likely to be coming out here over the course of the next couple of days, because while campaign is just a partitioned version of that base game, there's still going to be a sort of breadcrumb trail to different assets that will be in the full game that you can't get away from just because it is partitioned. It's still part of that base game. So at that point, well, we'll see how it all breaks down, but we'll keep it covered with the stuff that, again, isn't super spoilers or anything, but we're gearing up for launch now. It's getting to be real campaign early access starting in two days, and that's where we're going to wrap it up. Before we do, though, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market. I've been working with these guys for about three years now, which is honestly pretty crazy for me to consider that it's been that long already. It doesn't feel like three years, but they're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there. And while they're a bit more of an investment than you'd say, like a pair you could find for cheap off Amazon, I truly believe it's worth the investment. Your vision health is absolutely something you want to take care of. But in terms of build quality, the lenses they use, I absolutely think it's worth the investment. Now, I cannot do nearly enough justice for all the 
details they can provide in terms of the product, the clinical studies behind it. And at the very least, I recommend checking out the link in the description below if you guys would like to learn more. But if you want to pick a pair for yourself up, Code Espresso can get you 10% off your entire order. Link down below. So check them out if you're interested. But that said, that is now what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to campaign early access? Again, you got any bold predictions for the campaign? Anything you really want to see happen? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, you'd like to help us out on that road to 550,000 subscribers and also stay in the loop with everything Modern Warfare 3 coming up. We got you covered. I'd love to have the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.